there was a boy who was completely upset about his academic results from the beginning of his school life. He tried so hard to cope, but couldn't get anywhere. He decided to work and built a mindset to study, but each time he tried, he got distracted to video games, TV shows, music, movies. He tried achieving high targets, but the others pulled him back. by making fun of him but he still had hope because he enjoyed making some short movie making powerpoint presentations and he liked doing photography he tried getting on with his life then one day suddenly the child got admission in uk some said it was remarkable some were still not done cracking jokes the child proved them wrong by achieving targets which were way above all expectations one day one of his friends asked how did he do it the child replied with the help of all his weaknesses the child actually started to study but how a child who completely avoided his studies and having books as his enemies how did he succeed all the child did was that before going to school he made a mind map of himself of what were his advantages and what were his disadvantages by doing that he then looked at how to change his disadvantages to his advantages then he made a learning journal consisting of three columns on every page the first column was left blank he then read the chapter which was going to be talked about in the next class and prepared some notes he wrote them in great detail and listed out points which were more important in the chapter these were written in the second column by this he had more knowledge about the chapter than his classmates and was more prepared than others he looked at some online resources to help gain more accuracy in learning for example the khan academy best way to learn mathematics he used digo to mark and organize all his online resources to be located easily he used bbc online learning to help and understand the concepts in great depth not to forget mentioning one of the best ict tools like Google, Wikipedia, Bing, YouTube, Yahoo, Docpile, etc. Then in class, he made some class notes or corrected his own notes. He saw which were correct and which were misunderstood. If they were misunderstood, then he would clear his doubts and write it in the third column. After reaching home, he went through all that happened in class and also all his study material which was used in this process and then tried preparing questions from what he had written these questions were written in the first column if he were to understand the concepts he will be able to make questions out of it which weren't direct questions but were somehow related to what usually comes in tests or exams The child liked creating and watching short films. He decided to make short films based on what happened in class. He also made PowerPoint presentations. He recorded himself explaining few concepts, posting them all on YouTube. As a great man said, best way of learning is to teach. Based on what he had learned, he started teaching to have better understanding of concepts. This helped the child's results to improve significantly from achieving results such as Cs and Ds or gone up to As and Bs. It has really helped the child by achieving results which were beyond his imagination. By him being in London, he still continues to use this method and is anxiously looking forward to study in top universities in the UK.